Center Service Office in Nashville. Today, we're going to talk about a climate phenomenon that happens over the tropical Pacific Ocean. This climate phenomenon is called the El Nino Southern Oscillation Cycle, and its different phases are caused by varying sea surface temperatures in the tropical Pacific. So why do we care about this? The oceans play an important role in the Earth's weather, and whether this phase is in El Nino or La Nina can influence our weather patterns here at home. At the equatorial Pacific, there are permanent east to west winds that we call trade winds. These trade winds move warm water from the western coast of South America towards Australia and Asia. This warm water that is moved has to be replaced, so cooler water from the depths of the ocean rises to the surface in a process called upwelling. This is a normal process, but sometimes these trade winds become stronger or weaker, and this helps to set the stage for El Nino and La Nina. During El Nino, these trade winds become weaker and they are overtaken by stronger westerly winds. This results in less warm water being moved towards Australia and Asia, which means cooler water from the deep ocean has to come up to the surface. Thus, the water along the west coast of South America is warmer than normal. During El Nino, the jet stream, a fast moving current of air, is able to move further south. Due to this shift, this generally allows storm systems to track farther south. As such, Canada and northern portions of the United States are usually warmer and drier than normal, while southern portions of the United States see wetter conditions. The opposite is true during La Nina. During La Nina, the trade winds at the equatorial Pacific become stronger than normal. This means that these winds are able to move a lot more warm water from the west coast of South America towards Australia and Asia. This also means that a lot more cooler water from the depths of the ocean has to move upward to replace it. Thus, the water along the west coast of South America is cooler than normal. During La Nina, the jet stream is pushed farther north, which tends to block storm systems from tracking too far south. As such, Canada and northern portions of the United States tend to see wetter and cooler than normal conditions, while southern portions of the United States are usually drier than normal. We hope you enjoyed this educational video on El Nino and Thank you for joining.